Hi, I'm Seb and I make stuff. Today, we're gonna to be making some magical floating bubbles for the while beyond the witch light. While shopping at my local spotlight, I found some cheap, clear Christmas baubles for some DIY decorations. And I thought these would work perfectly for the bubble pop teapot ride in the wild beyond the witch light. If you enter the door on this giant teapot, you'll emerge at the top encased in a clear bubble that you can use to float around the carnival. So I wanted to try and represent this on my board. Luckily for me, it's Christmas time. So my local spotlight had these cheap DIY Christmas baubles that were perfect for the job. So I grabbed a few of them and some transparent party glasses and got to cutting the stems down to size. Once I chopped these up, I gave them a quick clean before gluing them to the base of one half of the bauble. Hot glue probably would have been a lot easier in this case, but I just went with super glue and used an accelerant to hurry up the process before adding a little bit more glue to make it a little bit more solid. This was the basic build done. Now that the basic shape's all built, it's time to add some basing. I do this on almost everything and I'm gonna use a lot of the same methods that I've used on other builds so that everything blends together nicely. So we started with some texture paint, added in some parsley herbs to look like leaves, a few rocks and stones, a couple of roots that I found in the garden, and then a bit more of the texture paste just to hold everything down. Time to test it out with a miniature and they fit perfectly. This will work nicely. So time to repeat the process on a few more bubbles. For now, three will do as I haven't even built this ride yet. Now for the final part of the basing, adding on the flocks and different static grasses to help it blend in with the larger circus board that I have built. I come through one layer at a time with a few different combinations of the same flocks that are used on the larger board. Before tapping off any excess, so I could collect it up for future use. This is a great idea once you've made some different combinations is just to have them kept in a mixed foliage bag. This can be really useful for basing later on. And finally adding in a few grass tufts before coming in with some watered down Mod Podge to just help hold everything in place and seal up all of these different textures that I've used. Once that's dried, we're left with some pretty nice bases. So I guess it's time to add the stems back in and throw some models into our bubbles and see how they look overall on our circus board. Now, those who choose to use the bubble pop teapot get their chance to be enclosed in a bubble that floats across the carnival. And we get to play it all out on the table. We've got a handful of bubbles now for the wild bee on the witch light for our guests to explore. <laughs> 